sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is Alex. This is the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight from the East Coast of the United States, from New York, New York. The city so nice they named it twice. Hello, everybody. How are you? Alex here, and uh, we're uh, we're getting ready to uh, to rumble. Are you ready to rumble? Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to get something ready here uh, because every Monday we go and uh, talk to our dear friend, uh, Philip uh, Meyer. Let me, wait a minute. Let me see here. Oh, there we go. There he is, right there. Yeah, I had to start the video. How are you? I am fine. Uh, why don't I have your name there? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. We got to do this because uh, it, uh, in case people, wait a minute. Don't know who I am? <laughs> That's weird. They don't know, but now I do that and it's fine. I don't huh. know. I don't know what went wrong. I have no idea. Oh well. That hey, that, that's uh, computers for you. Well, you know, I'm, I'll tell you what happened. I, I I've been having all kinds of problems uh, lately, technically, with this whole setup. In that, every now and then, when I start up my OBS, which is the thing that encodes this show and puts it out there and records interviews and things like that. Uh, when I start up my uh, my OBS, all of a sudden, this whole machine freezes up, icons disappear, everything goes bad. So I got to turn the computer off, and then when I attempt to turn it on, I have to then pull out the USB ports or USB inputs, and then it starts booting up. Really? And then uh, I plug them back in. Everything's fine. Now you know there's two ways to do that there's the software which is your osb Wait, are you, uh, oh, 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 osb oh, i don't yes. think, no i don't think it's that i don't think it's that I, but you get hardware that does it well uh, i i don't think it's anything with the computer i think it has to do with the usb ports and uh, since i have a whole bunch of them in like a seven inch strip and then another bunch and another seven inch strip I think because the cameras are both on the same 7-inch strip, this may happen every now and then. So I'm going to clean that up this weekend. I'm not going to do anything about it now. Yeah. But, no, uh, but, I, but you I, know, but it's just things like that. And I just go, you know, is this really worth it? You know, for, we're getting less people watching than have watched you know, this before. I wanted to ask you about that. Yeah. You know, I watched some YouTube videos, and there are these, I mean, you know, you, you have a product to show. Mm. You, you put out a, a quality product. Yeah. I watch some of these guys on these gun videos mm -hmm. that have four, five, six hundred thousand followers, and it's like watching paint dry when they talk. I, you know, uh, the, the guy is standing there and well, saying, you, you, well, yeah. I have this knife. Yeah. I, where, where, why? You know, well, what are they? It, 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 you know, I'll tell you something. There is some, there's some method to getting people to watch. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what that method is. I have no idea at all. I, I have, uh, I have one guy that I know, uh, he, he's got a uh, site called Fro Knows Photo. His name is Jared Poland. He's mm -hmm. got over a million followers on YouTube. Really? really? And, uh, he uses clickbait to get people to watch. What's, what's, cl stuff. what's clickbait? He puts some sort of, a, a weird, um, uh, title to his postings so uh he'll say oh it's the night it's the death of nikon and he'll get a hundred thousand views two hundred thousand views uh, but really he's he's only talking about some small item so he he puts out these titles that i feel is uh, misrepresents what the mm -hmm. video is all about but he he has built a, a following. Then I have another friend, Matt. He's got about six hundred thousand followers. Also a camera guy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this is the guy I got my computer from. Yeah, and uh, he uh, he doesn't do clickbait, but he puts out a lot of 
quality uh, uh, video stuff. And he's a nice guy. He's from Australia. People like him. He's got the accent. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, he was living in Brooklyn for a while, and he just moved to Hong yeah. Kong. Yes. Uh, but, you know, the the thing is, the uh, some of these ones, I mean, these guys put out some quality stuff. They have people that are working on mm-hmm. stuff, mm-hmm. videographers, things yeah. like that. But I watch these other ones, and I see these guys with 100 and 150,000 uh, followers, and th- it's nothing. I, I mean, you know, they, they, they're talking about Drek. Well, I, for instance, I will sometimes go on YouTube and want to watch how to do things stuff like, you know, how to use OBS, how to improve your OBS videos and so on right. and so forth and or, or how OBS works or how something works. And then I go to it and they talk, they 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 explain it so badly. Right. That not a even a person like myself who knows what they're talking about can follow it. Right. How many followers do they have? Oh, 100,000. Right. You know, and I'm going, these guys just, you know, they're, they're terrible. I, yeah. I have yet to find one that I really like and say, now this guy knows how to explain this stuff. I, I wanted to know how to clean my AR-15, okay. which is a rifle. Oh, boy. I shot it. I forgot. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Oh. Okay. So I watched a video on it, and you know, I mean, well, this you clean guy, it. You clean it by pointing it towards your face first yeah, of all. I couldn't then... <laughs> finish. I couldn't finish the video. He was so boring. But he had over a hundred thousand followers. Uh, I so I went to another one. I figured maybe this guy would explain it, and that guy was boring. And you know, I went from one to the next to the next. So I didn't clean it, but, but, uh, you know, but, the, but the, they explain it badly, don't they? Yeah, yeah they do. They have no and, ability at, at sitting there and explaining and making it easy for people to understand or you fun. Know? You know, I, I mean, they don't make it fun. They don't, they don't make it entertaining. Right. Uh, there, there's nothing, nothing to it. Um, uh, now, uh, I, the, you know, I understand your frustration with that, and there's got to be a way to do it because these people that are getting 100,000 followers and, and it's like watching paint dry, they're not marketing their stuff. They're not going out there and, and doing anything. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they're getting these followers. Do you think that uh, YouTube is not putting your signal out to enough people? Or No, I think they are. I just think that... Uh, for some reason, I mean, I guess I'm just trying to appeal by doing a good program, and it's titled The Ramble, and it's got a date on it. Now, if I maybe if I did call it How to Clean Your AR-15, uh, mm-hmm. or Phil tells us how to clean your AR-15, I yeah. would probably, you know, I can change Over. the name of the one we've got tonight. Better yet, well, a, a liberal cleans his AR-15. <laughs> and you get out a pipe cleaner and, and you know, some other stuff, and you have a little bit of fun with it. Or you just use that as the title, yeah. and then people may watch. So you tr- you know try this clickbait uh, title. Uh, you know the, uh, s- some other stuff is. I heard you complaining uh, mm-hmm. a couple of shows ago. And I'm complaining. always complaining. I know. I mean, that's what you live for. Mm-hmm. But you know, you were saying that you don't do stuff anymore. Well, I remember that you always had something to do. Yeah, I know. I know. I always had something I could talk about that I did. And, hey, here's an amazing thing that I did. And then I, you know. I I used to go with you to a lot of those amazing things. You know, we, you know, we go to, you know, movies that you had passes for. We we went to uh, see a a warehouse once where uh, uh, they had all the Star Wars models uh, out in the backyard. Uh, we, uh, you know, we, we just did stuff. No. Where did you get the lead to, to know where to go? Who called you? Who told you? What did you do to get that kind well, of Well, I was, to begin with, I was very well known and very popular and I had a radio show and everybody wanted to get their stuff plugged. So they would invite me to stuff. Yeah. But okay. I mean, the backyard of, of that. I mean, it's the same, it's that, the same reason I got laid. Yeah. I had a radio show. Yeah, you know, but, but, well, but this, what have I got here? I've got nothing. This is nothing. And but I, mean, I think about like what I went through today with the problems with the, you know, with the, uh, 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 with the U- USB port and all that. And I'm going, is it worth this? You know, is it worth the time? I mean, 
even the Monday thing, which usually gets pretty good numbers, didn't get really great numbers yesterday. So, uh, you know, I'm going, why am I doing this? You know, maybe I could just come out with, you know, the uh, 10 things you didn't know about Doctor Who and get myself you know, 20,000 hits. Well, that, that might be an interesting thing. Uh, you know, I, I, I see some of these YouTubers are actually making money. Uh, as some of them are spending a lot more to do it than they're they're getting back. Yeah. But uh, uh, you know, some of them are making money, and it leads it might lead to other stuff. But uh, you know, I, maybe it's uh, maybe the title uh, has to be uh, adjusted. Uh, you know, to to get other people to click on it, or the categories that you list. Yeah. The Q and on hour. How's that? I like that. The QAnon hour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about the QAnon hour. What? It seems as though uh, a, a number of the people that went into uh, the Capitol on the 6th mm -hmm. are still in jail. Like, uh, you know, the guy with the horns. Yeah. And, you know, I saw some video today that he wasn't destroying anything. He, he, he was in there. He was actually talking to a cop. And he asked somebody Phil, that was sitting Phil, the ground Phil, if he needed Phil, medical attention. He was trespassing. Yeah, well, okay. He, but was, he was trespassing. Trespassing doesn't get you thrown into jail. He's been in jail since the 6th. He hasn't gotten out yet. Well, he did something like he took, I think he took something from the speaker's desk. That's theft. You know, there are a whole bunch of little things he did while he was there. He, he, you're listening to his story, right? You saw the interview they did with him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and you're going, oh well, I guess he didn't do anything. No, he was in there right ahead of everybody. He, he, he it wasn't like he was standing outside and goes, oh, the door's open. I think I'll walk inside. There was a, a mother and daughter that that's exactly what happened. Uh, they they the door was open. They walked inside. And they got arrested. Yeah. And uh, and the uh, uh, who was the guy? Uh, the the prosecutor mm -hmm. said that he wanted to make an example of all of those people so that they wouldn't the people would not show up during the Biden Biden inauguration. Uh, so that. Uh, yeah. But I mean, would... a lot of these people, they actually have the goods on that. They conspired with each other to cause a problem that day. OK, they have the text between them, all of that sort of stuff. So that's why they're being indicted, you yeah. know. So, uh, 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 you know, th that's the reason why. It's not because they weren't doing anything. On the other hand, I, w I won't say they're guilty of anything until we prove, to prove them as such. Well, but, you know, you've always been... Uh, but I think uh, you've got to show that if you want to do what happened at the Capitol that day, go ahead and do it, but you're going to have to pay a price for it, you know. Yeah. I, I got to admit that you've always been very fair in not convicting someone in the court of well, public. Well, you know, I tell you, I, and, and this, I, I don't say this much because people will get all, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the cancel culture will go crazy with this. Yeah. But I've been, I've been watching the way the trial in Minneapolis is being covered. Now, let me say to begin with that if you ask me personally, took me off of here, put me over in a corner and said, what do you think about the guy who you know, knelt on the guy's neck and killed him, uh, I would say he should go to jail for the next hundred years. That was unacceptable behavior. It was more force than needed to be used, blah, 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 blah. But that doesn't give him a fair trial. No. You know, and so my job is to not comment on what's going on in the trial. Plus, what's going on in the trial now looks really bad for the guy because the defense hasn't put up their case yet. Now, I don't think they're going to be able to put up a very good case, but nevertheless, somebody said to me the other day, uh, what would happen if this guy was found not guilty? And I right. said, you know what would happen. You know, right. there would be riots all over the country. There would be burnings of buildings and blah, 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 blah. People would go crazy over the fact this guy wasn't found guilty. So now think more. about the pressure on that jury yeah. to find him guilty. And but, then I say, well, well, you know, wait a minute. Then I say, well, where can he can't get a fair trial? And I'm saying virtually nowhere in the United States can he get an objective trial. He has, there's 12 jurors. 
And they have to, uh, the prosecution has to have all 12 jurors agree that he's guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, and if that doesn't happen and there's a hung jury. Phil, people, you think that's going to happen? I think there's a chance. But what, what do you think makes it not a chance? Exactly what I'm saying. But they're thinking well, up here, chance. well, if we voted, you know, uh, let, me, let me, again, I say nobody take this as me defending the guy and his actions in Minneapolis. I'm just saying I think that in spite of what he is accused of doing, he is mm -hmm. entitled to a fair and impartial trial. And I don't think he's getting that when you turn over to MSNBC and they're saying, see, he really did it. See how long he had his foot on the neck of the guy? Blah, blah, blah. What you do is you cover it, and then you don't comment on the proceedings or the merits of what's going on. You wait till the whole thing is over, and the trial is settled, and the verdict is announced, and then you start having your Monday morning quarterbacking. They used to never even mention the name of a suspect. No, oh, uh, they the did. They did. But would black them out years ago. Uh, they uh, they used to. Uh, I don't uh, remember that, but I do know that in England. If yeah. you're accused of a crime, the district attorney, whatever the crown prosecutor, gets mm -hmm. up and says, here, we arrested this guy, and this is what we're charging him with, blah, 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 blah. And then, okay? Yeah. And then nobody reports anything until the trial. And then the trial goes on, and you simply report what's going on at the trial. Maybe it's the victims that uh, don't get their names mentioned. Well, but no, but, no, but it, it, yeah. If victims don't get their names mentioned many times. But what I'm saying is, is that I just, I, I believe in everybody getting a fair trial, no matter what they're accused of doing, no matter how heinous it is, you know. And, and uh, uh, I just think that what's going on, and it's not the fault of what's going on in Minneapolis, that's a trial. That's the way trials are. That's how defense attorneys defend their clients and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, let me just get rid of this little Misha gossip at the top of the screen. Uh, oh, people, like uh, yeah, people stop calling. Okay, so I don't get those notes. <laughs> call when you want. Yeah, call when you <laughs> when want. You want uh, uh, call when it's time to call. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, you know, I mean, I think sure, it's fine. I think it's terrific, and uh, uh, um, you know, you have a trial, and and then after it's over, then you make your you have your Monday morning quarterbacking. And they, I knew he was guilty all along, and you know, you know, in the twenty four hour uh, uh, news cycle, mm -hmm. they need something to talk about. So yeah. they're sitting there and they're uh, exposing all of this stuff rather than allowing the guy to have a fair trial. Uh, I mean, they all do it. Even Fox does it by not. Well, by, do it. By, Fox does it by not running the trial. Right. Well, they all you do know. it because they want eyeballs. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, maybe Fox just didn't have the rights to the trial. Who knows? No, no. But, there's no such thing as rights to a trial. Everybody has rights to a trial. If it, if there's cameras inside, they oh, get so to they're take just it. not I, running I, the feed. If I could get a feed from somewhere, I could run it right here. There's no, no. There's nothing wrong there. But what I'm saying is is that Fox uh, isn't running it. Uh, they occasionally go to it, but they, they yeah. are not running it. And neither is OAN and neither is uh, Newsmax. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that is just as much of a commentary as running it and then making commentary. Probably true. Yeah. You know, uh, other things that are going on right now that sort of bother me is uh, uh, people are not, standing up and doing you remember in 1963 there was some uh, woman in a park in new york uh she was being raped and murdered yeah. and uh, all the people in the apartment buildings that overlooked the park were mm -hmm. sitting at their windows watching this take place mm -hmm. you remember that mm -hmm. yeah what was what was her name wait, no, wait a minute. are you talking about the person the woman who's getting stabbed on the street no, I'm and, talking about an earlier incident in 1963. Oh, you're was talking about Kitty Genovese. That's it. Well, that Kitty. was a, that was on the street. They weren't sitting in the windows. They were standing on the street watching this woman get. Oh, I, I thought people were in the windows. They're eating their dinner and they're well, watching. I think her. they may they may have done that too. But basically, yeah, okay. it was a crowd of people watching this going on and doing nothing. I think she died. She was killed. right. Oh, she did. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, by, the way, by, by the way. Yeah. 
I, and my memory is crap, right? Because I'm taking like this I didn't damn, mind. <laughs> I'm taking this damn pregabalin, right? And it yeah. just uh, and you just said, and who was that woman? I said, oh, Kitty Genovese. Right. Where did <laughs> that come cool. from? Where did that come from? <laughs> you do that. You yeah. do that. Uh, it's a talent. But uh, the reason I bring that up mm-hmm. is, you know how outraged the everybody was over that. Mm-hmm. Right now, you have stabbings, uh, just like you mentioned. You had some 65-year-old Chinese, uh, Filipino lady mm-hmm. that uh, a guy who stabbed his mother 19 years ago and was out of prison. Uh, I think it was in New York. Uh, he, he kicked her, and he, and he kicked her to the ground, and he beat her, and he beat her. Uh, it really hurt her. And people were in a cell, cell store, you know, a uh, cellular telephone store, watching this from the store they didn't call the police they didn't get involved they didn't yell get away from her uh they they just let this thing happen willy-nilly now i understand the two the two people from the cellular phone store were fired Mm -hmm. uh because of their inaction but this seems to be well here's uh, a good question if if you were in minneapolis when george uh what's his name floyd Uh, was being choked to death by this cop with this. Right. People took pictures. Well, wait a minute. If you were there, what would you have done? That's that's a hard uh, that's a hard thing. Honestly, um, I I didn't. Uh, I thought that since he was talking, uh, that he was breathing, and he said he couldn't breathe. And when somebody's okay, choking, but he said I can't breathe like. 12 times or something like right. that. It wasn't just a momentary, I can't breathe. Wait a minute. Hold yeah. on a second. I'm just saying, if I was there, I would have jumped in and stopped the cop from doing it. I, w- I would have taken the consequences, but I would not allow that to continue to go on. And why people sat around, and now, of course, they show up in court and testify, oh, it was horrible what I was watching. Yeah, they what were you EMT. were watching? Why didn't you do they something were- about it? They were firemen, uh, firewomen. They were EMTs. They were, uh, they were all sorts of professionals that are Sunday, uh, you know, uh, backseat quarterbacking uh, uh, the uh, the situation, saying I would have done this and I would have done that, but they didn't do anything. And the same thing, Kitty Genovese, uh, yeah. the Filipino lady yeah. in in New York, yeah. and yeah. there was a couple of others recently. Uh, do you remember? What yeah, they were? well, people do not jump in and do anything about it. You know, yeah. and and that's terrible. It's just horrible. I mean, what but what are you going to do? I mean, uh, but all I'm saying is, is that for all these people that are moaning and griping or were standing by, why didn't you do something about it? Yeah. You know? Well, I saw a thing this morning. Uh, it was a guy who was driving down and the I, road. By the way, I don't care if these guys were cops. You still do something about it. If you notice that the cop is doing something which is going to kill this person, and right. this person is handcuffed, and he's on the ground, and he's not a threat to anybody, then you should jump in. And I bet you, if you jump in and the cops arrest you for doing it, you'd yeah. be out of jail the next day, and the judge would say, bless you, go on your way. Well, you know, the thing is, the guy was handcuffed. That's, that's the... Oh, he that's was the handcuffed. Difference. He couldn't hurt anybody. Right. It, you know, uh, to, to lean on the guy like that, until he, until the life was out of him. Well, here I, we're, 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 it was wrong. We're Monday morning quarterbacking it. Here. Right. See, that's but a, that's you know, I saw, I saw the video that the people on the sidewalk took, but I also saw video that was uh, the several of the different cops, including Chavan, Chavan, uh, Chauvin, his his body cam, mm-hmm. and uh, if you looked at his body cam, I think that there's going to be some doubt in the uh in in the jurors and that's what may sway at least well, one yeah but it, 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 believe me he's going to be found guilty and he's going to be found guilty because none of these people on the jury want to feel that they are the one that let him go okay right. and oh. that and that uh, that uh, and, the, and they know what's going to happen if they don't find him guilty Right. Yeah. Now, they just introduced another charge, which was third degree manslaughter, was it? Uh, uh, now, what what can a guy get for third degree manslaughter? 90 days? I th- well, yeah, I mean, I think you get it, your driver's license taken away. Yeah. So what what happens is when the public feels that the punishment does not meet the crime, they also go nuts. So if he if he got off. 
they're going to go nuts. They're going to burn things down. They're going to loot Walmarts. They're going to take TVs and, and shoes. But if he gets, you know, uh, 180 days and, you know, he's out 90, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I think you're going to have a well, similar. Here, here's my argument. It's the last argument I'm going to make on this is that uh, you ask for a trial to have a change of venue when you feel that a person cannot be tried in that town. Uh, and in this case, I don't think he could be tried anywhere in the United States. Well, if All he's right. getting a trial by his peers, aren't his peers in that town? Well, his peers are in that town, but that is uh, maybe not... I, I don't know. I don't know where you could try this trial where he could get what I consider a fair and impartial trial because the people who are put on the jury are not impartial as people. Nobody you know, is impartial. Uh, you know who you put on that jury? Me. Because well, I will be impartial about it. But yeah. other people are, other people are capable of that impartiality. Yeah. They're capable of removing themselves from their their and, and, and as it is yeah. as it is you really can't can't put me on a jury because i know too much about that case in fact i was a witness to the crime we all would, were oh yeah we saw it on yeah uh, yeah uh so i mean it's just i don't know you know i just but i just it, what i'm tired of is the way they ha these news i, I, I uh, operations handle it okay yeah. they're they're handling it from the standpoint, at least the, the, the liberal ones, MSNBC, CNN, are handling it like, uh, you know, we know he did it. You know, we know he's guilty of it. And, and look, you know, I'm the first one to be exactly that way. But I don't feel that it's my job to prejudge the case here on this program. Does that well, make, that, make, does that uh, make sense? Yes, but what's happening in, in the news media is probably what's going to get him his uh, his next trial, his appeal. You know, it, it may happen. Uh, uh, quite frankly, I don't think these lawyers for him are in, have their heart in it. I think they know they've got an uphill fight here, and um, they're just doing anything they can to try and, you know. I think what know, they're trying to do is create reversible errors. They know? could they make uh, their career on this. You know, uh, uh, you know, look at the O.J. case. I mean, th those the prosecutors ended up, you know, uh, eating crow. Uh, but the uh, you know, uh, what, what was, let me uh, say something. I'm not the most the bravest guy in the world. OK, in fact, I'm a sniveling coward. All right. But uh, Brian and Charlie have been having a discussion here online. And Br Brian writes, yes, Charlie, I think you would try to break that up and you would have saved him but been shot 10 times. <laughs> and, no, that's and, a possibility. And Brian may be right, but I was, knowing that, I was still would have done something about it. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't have just stood there. And when I saw this thing going on, I'm going, wait a minute. I just got here, and he just put his foot on, on the guy's neck, and he's been there doing it for three minutes, four minutes. Hey, somebody stop this. Yeah. And, you know... I mean, if, if there was a crowd there. They could have gotten really snarly if they wanted to, and maybe it would have it would have changed things. Yeah. Well, they didn't, and they didn't when the Filipino lady yeah, uh, got yeah, uh, beat yeah. down in New York. They didn't when Kitty Genovese was uh, was being murdered. Right. Uh, you know, in, and in that front was of, that was like fifty years ago or something. Kitty, right. Kitty, well, Kitty, but Kitty it's Genovese. a it's a repeatable behavior. That seems to go on and on and on. And, you know, you, mm -hmm. you ask yourself, where is the humanity in that? One last thing I want to talk to you about for a si quick second, but it's because I, I got to get to these people here. They want to they want to talk to me. I don't know why. <laughs> um, uh, what do you think? Uh, now, you gave money to Trump, didn't you? Yeah. Did you give money to his second appeal when he said after after the election where he said he needed money? No. Okay. You know what you know what happened, didn't you? With that, yeah, uh, there was uh, uh, people didn't opt out of a uh, thing, but it wasn't Trump. It was a group that was collecting money under Trump's name. Well, that, so, it, that was going well, to Trump. It's under Trump's name. Look, whenever I gave money to Trump, it was an actual yeah. Trump approved. The, but yeah, but, but the buck stops there. Okay, he should have stopped that if he saw it. I mean, it is a terrible thing they did. How do you know that that's Be happening, huh? How do you know that he that's knew, knew it was happening? 
He's pocketing the money. The He's pocketing the money right now. People complained, and and I'm sure they're, they're, they're complaining. But you know, they, what they did, in case people don't know, is they sent an appeal, and then they said this is a weekly, this is a monthly charge unless you opt unless you opt out. Right. And and nobody reads that, and there's a little check mark, and you figure you check mark, maybe that's opting out, and you go. Well, but though they had the check mark already checked. Okay. I give, I give to a number of things like the UC theater, for yeah. instance, I give, yeah. I give like every couple of months, I, I give them a couple hundred dollars Yeah. and, uh, the, uh, right on there, they say, you know, do you want this to be a reoccurring and, and then thing? you have to check it? Right. Well, and I said, no, no, you know, but they, but they didn't, like, they yeah. didn't pre-check it. If they had pre-checked right. it, you would have been pissed. Exactly. And what they did then after a while, this monthly charge suddenly became a weekly charge. Right. Uh, now, what happened was uh, the, some of these people, their life savings uh, got eaten up. You know, people had like three thousand well, dollars. Yeah. Well, there's your, if it isn't your boy Trump, it's his people. And, well, uh, you, you know, know, there's there's yeah. people that do frauds hey. all over the place. Right. Right. And, and, and Trump uh, is one of them. He's done it constantly all his life. So why shouldn't he do it now? You know, people are collecting this money i'm sure that a large percentage of it didn't go to trump you, you know oh yeah yeah you have sure. these charities uh sometimes a big percentage okay continue to make excuses creative. continue to make hey listen uh, i gotta i gotta go these people want they're gonna be mad at me if uh, I don't start, they're chomping at the bit if i don't start <laughs> talking to them okay. all right anyway. see you next uh, uh next week okay anyway uh thank you phil appreciate it always sure. do take yeah. care and have a great show uh anyway that's uh that's phil and uh that's his uh his uh little uh, uh together thing with us and now we'll bring on all the other people here who are probably just really pissed at me for taking that long with somebody that they disagree with uh but uh here we go here come our people. There's Charlie Wallace. Uh, there's Brian Neary. Uh, there's, Gotta wake uh, up. There's Alan. Uh, there's uh, Trucker Steve. And, uh, you know, whatever. Taking a nap, though, was so boring. God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! How Tuesday that, nights are tough. How was that boring? <laughs> how was that boring? He's getting into you our time. Huh? So, Alex. He's getting into <clears throat> our time. You know, you you said that you would have jumped in and stopped the police. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Charlie, would you have? Hell no, not as a black man. Hell no. <laughs> I would have got one word out. I'd have been dead. Uh, by the yeah. way, Scott K has joined us. Are you there, Scott? Yeah, I am. Hold on. Yeah, give I us a... I don't have video. <laughs> Boddicker. No, it's not Boddicker, is it? Oh, no, oh, no, no, I was here. Oh, a white you know ago. what it is? He looks like Scott Boddicker, doesn't he? <laughs> no, my, my hair is short. <laughs> but doesn't he look like Scott Boddicker? No, he doesn't have a glass in his hand. No, I see. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Scott's always drinking. <laughs> well, yeah. You know. You're in Canada, right, Scott? No, Ohio. 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 Wait a minute, we yeah. had you on before? Yeah, I was yeah, on was about a week or so. Oh ago. yeah, okay. I thought yeah. uh, you know, I'm I'm getting old. I don't remember. I, I'm the so. I'm the STD guy. The guy the gonorrhea dude. No, yeah. you had gonorrhea. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> no, no, I I I worked at STD for the health department. Oh, I see. Okay, oh. yeah. <laughs> okay. Alex has got a short memory. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. When when I had gonorrhea and they told me to use STD, I I went out and thought it was an oil additive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> -bum -bum -bum. Anyway. So, so going back to you would help the guy. <clears throat> Here, here's the deal. I, I can only use California. Hey, I can I say that. anything I want to. I wasn't there, and uh, I, 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 I didn't. Don't have to walk the walk. But I'm telling you what you, I think. You I would wouldn't do. help them. I, I don't believe you. You don't believe me? No. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a kind of a no-win situation to intervene in the police. Yeah. When they're doing their job. The other day, but, yeah, I was, wait a minute, the other day I was taking a walk in the park. I went down to the Harlem Muse. And uh -huh. as I'm coming back, this guy has one of these hot dog uh, machines, right? Where he serves uh -huh. hot dogs, right? Out of that uh, swamp water. You yeah, know. vendor cart. Yeah, yeah. Vend vendor cart. And he had this big umbrella. And he was sitting down on the bench. And the big umbrella, the wind came along. And the umbrella uplifted itself off of its thing. 
and started running, rolling down the street. And I went and grabbed it and gave it to him. So wow. don't say I wouldn't have helped. Well, I would have done but that. But the umbrella can't <laughs> shoot you. Yeah, the umbrella can't shoot me. Well, at least I, I'm a man of action. Okay. Uh huh. All right. I, I've done that. What? Where people drop something or something got blown off, a hat gets blown off their yeah. head, and I'm yeah. going to run after and get I, it. I'm always good for that, you know? Yeah. Right? And, so, and usually they don't notice that it was blown away. It's so, like, can I try some of my technical skills on your camera issue? On my camera issue? Yeah, you were talking to Phil early that you got to unplug and turn on and off all the USBs and mm -hmm. all the cameras. To get the machine stuff. to boot up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are are your USB ports powered? Yes. Or just, yes. So you have a you have a plug that plugs into the wall too. Mm -hmm. it, it could be that plug came out. No. Or no, could, because the lights the are no, because the lights are lit up. <clears throat> Okay, but if a I, lot of people think they have a powered USB port. No, when they they, these are I the, actually have powered ports. Okay, when and, they plug uh, it into the computer, it lights yeah. up and they think it's powered. Well, no, they, 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 it's plugged in. Yeah, okay, no, wall. you know, okay. and, and I would have that. Well, I'm having that trouble when I turn the computer off and I turn it back on. I have to remove the those things, but I don't think that's what it is. I think it may be the two of these cameras are on the same USB strip. And maybe okay. I'm drawing too much power between the two of them, you know. So not if it's powered. Not, I don't. Well, I don't it's know powered. Power. It's powered, and it's uh, uh, if if uh, yeah, no, all the lights are lit up and everything. So, yeah. Okay. okay. But you so you plug it into the USB on the computer, mm -hmm. the strip. Mm -hmm. Plus you plug it into the wall, correct? Yes, it, it, pl pl plug, it has an electrical plug. I, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. think a powered strip, you plug it into the computer and it lights up, it's powered. No, no. So, okay. so something okay, happens, just... and, and sometimes I only have to pull out one of the USB strips, uh, one of the USB plugs, and it starts up. Today I did it once. I only had to remove one, one USB, and it powered up. And then I turned the machine off, started up again. Of course, it wouldn't go. So I pulled that, but that didn't do it. Then I pulled another. I had to pull all three that were in the computer before it would then, I got the Apple. And then I could plug them back in. And when it came Sounds up, Sounds like your powered port is dying or something. Could be. Me. That could be. You know? Yeah. Uh, because it should run, uh, you know, when you plug these things in, they'll run a couple amps. Of hard drives and cameras. Yeah, well, this is stuff. this is more than we, we need to know. Although I could retitle this episode. Uh, let's see here. Fix your uh, your uh, uh, webcam. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and then done. I'll then I'll get a million uh, hits. I'm done. On it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know what it is, but I'm starting to give up on it. It's just it's just one more. You know, and I could I could probably solve it by doing exactly what you're saying. Uh, but you know, who knows, who knows? I don't know. You know, uh, I, know. I, I had a powered port last year, <clears throat> excuse me, I had it and, and got a new computer mm -hmm. and they say, you don't need the powered port with the super speed thing, but that's BS. And so I got a powered port. My old one died. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it. And, uh, what do you want for $19? Yeah, but if it dies, you also, all your inputs are going to go out. Are you nope. gonna, all your icons are going to disappear. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. The power, the computer sends out a voltage of its own. You know how you can, on some computers, most computers, you can plug no. your your smartphone into a USB port and it will charge your phone? Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Okay, well, it, yeah, that's that's powered, but it's not a powered hmm. Port is there, how, how excited is everybody? Brian, are you going I'm to sleep? To help you with your problem. Brian, it's okay. are you asleep? Oh, hey. hey, how's it going? Are you asleep? Did you ask me a question? Are no. you awake? Sorry. Are you asleep? How many people are watching now? We only have 29 people watching us right now. Why am I they doing this show? What am I doing this show for? What? Why? Yes, Brian, answer me. Me? Oh, us. okay. Well, that's you it. You say it's all for us. Screw everybody else. That's about what it is, you know. Yeah. I mean, we'll but I'm, I mean, I, I've been thinking about going to one day a week, you know. I'm just, uh, 
And a couple of times last week, uh, I didn't even post the show so anybody could watch it except by going to GabNet. Mm. You know? Robert's wife's going to be mad at you. What? Robert's wife's going to be mad at you. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> she, she watched the replay. Oh, I thought she'd be mad at me because she's happy when he's on the show because he's not <laughs> bothering her. That's it. You know. But there's, there's always one technical fire or another that I, I can't put out, you know, that I'm trying to put out. And I, th this happened before, and I finally, by changing a camera, I managed to get the problem to go away uh, for a while. And then it's back again. It happened today. Uh huh. But this is after being, I think I was on, I was up, uh, pow I was running this computer for about three weeks without rebooting it. And it uh -huh. was just fine. So, hmm. you know, I don't know what it is. Hell with it. I give up. Okay. Good. And if, if the computer doesn't work anymore or I can't get any of this stuff up, well, then I just won't do a show. Hmm. You know? I'm just tired of having to, to worry about whether, you know, it, it, because I don't turn on this thing that I switch the show with until just before I go on the air. And now I'm feeling I have to do it like 15 minutes early in case it screws up and fries the whole system and I've got to reboot, you know, and i got to have enough time to reboot and get everything going, so. How are you turning it on? Hmm? How are you turning it on? Just by clicking on it on the app. Oh. Yeah. Come on, I set you up for a good joke. Well, how am I turning it on? I blow in its how ear. How you turn it on? I blow in its ear. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. So anyway, everybody, um, um, how how was your weekend? Okay, Good, that's we're, gonna, uh, we're doing uh, Hawaii next week. You going to Hawaii? Yeah, family. We're gonna go to. Hawaii oh, so you won't weekend. be here. So then I'll only have four people here. No, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm, I'm get Howard. Howard and I are gonna call. Remember Howard? Howard. From Hawaii. Yeah, we're gonna call from Hawaii. Howard in Hawaii. Why yeah, isn't he called? Why isn't he called lately? I don't know. I always give him a hard months. time. Really? He just check in at least once a month or something. Yeah, but... he doesn't call anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But, I'm giving hard. But I guess you could go to his place and call the show, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll force him. Hmm. But let's see. Well, yeah, I'll be in the afternoon. Yeah, there's nothing to do in Hawaii in the afternoon. Nah. In fact, there's nothing to do in Hawaii at night. <laughs> in fact, there's nothing to do in Hawaii. Watch the ocean. Yeah, the kids are gonna have a blast. Just throw them in the water and come back in a couple Just hours. Just throw them the in the water and <laughs> watch them drown. I see. Okay, that's a, that's a good father. Just come back, see if they're still alive later on. If they are, yeah. you've done your part. See if they survive. Yeah. Yeah. Can they your kids swim? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They love well, swimming. Marjorie yeah, said. Do. And now that it's almost, we're almost at a point where we can fly somewhere, mm -hmm. that we should go somewhere on vacation. But let, let's go somewhere we've never been before. So I don't know. I mean, I'd like to go to, kitchen? I'd like to go to, yeah, I'd, I'd like to go to, uh, I'd like to go to uh, uh, Europe or Spain or someplace like that, you know, Italy. But they're still so full of the virus that, you mm -hmm. know, that they're not really open for business right now. Right. Yeah, we vaccinated like 14 or 15 percent of the country. Canada's vaccinated 2 percent. 2 percent? 2 percent is what they said in the news the other day. Really? Maybe it's up to no, 2 No, we've done, we've done that, I think. I a lot of people are getting pissed off for Trudeau because of it. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Why? Yes. Why is it? Why is it so difficult? Has he not gotten enough uh, vaccine? I don't know. He's just there, a fucking pansy. There's vaccine plants there. They're using the Johnson and Johnson, the AstraZeneca, the Pfizer, and the Moderna. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they've got enough of it. That's well, that's, that's, that's the question. another issue. But I would think they have. Well, plenty. here, here's what. The thing that, is, though, we only have 37 million people in Canada. We should have been already done. Yeah, yeah. If been Israel headed, could do headed most headed of their that. people. Yeah, you should. Thirty-seven million. God, you know. It should have been done by now. We've done what? Hundred million. Something. Oh, like? Excuse for this crap. 
How much have we done right now? Do you know, uh, uh, Dr. Doom? Yeah, we vaccinated, we vaccinated like, uh, was 150 million people. Yeah. Well, I mean, 150 million vaccines. Right. There's only like, like uh, 18 million or something that have been uh, had both vaccines. Yeah. Or whatever it was. That's the. So 30, 37 million should be an easy go. And now they say everybody over 16, but uh, between 16 and 18, they've got to use Pfizer. Uh, and the reason being that Pfizer has said that they are good for people over 16 years of age to, you know, to 18. So they're, they're, they've given the go-ahead that they can get those people. Moderna, I don't think, has come out with their statistics yet. Um, but that's the reason why. But, you know, this is good news. It's good news for Matt Gates, actually, if you think about it. He can now have safe sex. Uh, again, now that people oh wait a minute, excuse me, it's sixteen and over. It's a it's it's out of Matt out of that range for Matt Gates. By the way, did I see something in the paper or something? Not paper. Who reads the paper anymore? Uh, in the news that Trump has like turned his back on Matt Gates. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, that he doesn't want to be have anything to do with him because of the current brouhaha. So I think I read didn't Gates. The rumor is Gates asked Trump for a pardon. Uh, what? I saw today. Yeah, there was some headline of that he had asked uh, Trump for a pardon. So I don't know if he anticipated what's going on or what. Oh, really? Enough to find it. Oh. You know, Trump knew about it because the investigation started under, yeah. under bars uh, as attorney general. Wow. Bill Barr started the investigation. Well, you know. Uh, but it, he's he's in a lot of trouble, you know. Um, if he at all uh, paid for those girls to come to Florida, that's that's all they wrote. All these all all the government has to show are the receipts, you know. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was reported by the Times. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I didn't realize that he had asked for a uh, for a pardon. Before yeah. Trump was out of office, can can you see those other old guys in and where where he was right on the floor? All those old guys are probably like, "What the hell is this guy? Keeps showing me pictures. This idiot keeps bragging about these young girls he's with, and now he gets caught." <laughs> it's so funny. He's you got, know the guy always tries to show off and like he's badass, and then and then uh, he gets it in the end. That's well, good. What is he thinking? I mean, I know that you know Republicans are stupid, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> You know, I mean, come on. How dumb do you have to be to know that that is not good behavior? And it's even less good behavior in this day and age. Okay? Yeah. You know? So I, I and not only know. that, he had to pay for it. Yes. It makes it even worse. Yes. In a way, it's it. like, I couldn't get these on my own. I had to pay for it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I got only got 27 people right now watching. All right. Well, let's go. You know what I should do? I should just turn off. The live feed. <laughs> That's what I should do. Sure. Yeah. Fuck them. They're just going to write nasty comments anyhow. Turn off the, I'm going to turn off the live feed in five minutes, folks, unless we yeah, get some unless more Unless you all watching. call now. <laughs> Hurry. Call course, now. Here's the stupidity remember of Turd, that, though. Turd Ferguson, that guy, remember? Yeah. 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 Well, who else? All these guys, let's call now. Howard, come on. Well, the, the, no, the pro problem with this whole thing is that uh, I can threaten that if we don't get more people in the next five minutes, I'm going to turn the um, the YouTube feed off, the live feed. But uh, that's not a real threat because there's nobody listening to hear the threat. And those that are hearing <laughs> what the threat are already watching. So are you watching uh, the show, by the way, Brian? No. Uh, you haven't got anybody else watching the show while oh. we're on here? No. Oh, yeah, I am. I am. Oh, are you are? Okay. Uh, just kill your feed. Would you kill the feed to, from on your browser? Okay. Okay. I'm off. Okay. We're 29. Okay. I want to see it go to 28. Oh. Well. Let me see here. Let me uh, let me try uh, uh, 
fixing this up here a little bit. No, it's, oh, it's at 28 now. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, here comes John Redshaw. Uh, he was on the other oh, day. Yeah, John. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. John guy Redshaw. Uh, hello, John. How are you? Hello. Yeah, you're out in Long Island, right? Yes, that's Lo right. I'm see, I'm, I'm starting to remember stuff. Yeah. I'm not Turd Ferguson. I'm sorry. <laughs> who was Turd Ferguson? He was a he was a guy who had uh, he was itching. I don't know what that was about, but uh, <laughs> you can call that. Oh, that was the guy from Canada. Turd Ferguson. Yes, about Turd. The bears. Yes, okay. his, well, his yeah, name, yeah, he, yeah. He was the one from he, British Columbia. His name oh, was John oh, Ferguson, but somehow on his thing it said Turd Ferguson. I don't know. Oh, why. you know those Canadians can't get it right. He, he well, got the name from something. Yeah, we got to get. Say, we got to get. say A one time. Yeah. A. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, t turn turn your browser back on. Let me see it go up to 29 again. Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Yeah. What well, happened? You know, actually, yes. I have a suggestion for you to get more viewers. Yes. Ooh. Do you remember that night uh, when everybody was talking about crapping in their pants? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you take an extra? <laughs> huh? Do, do like, like a two minute uh, video. Yeah. And write on the title. Uh, Alex's panel talks about crapping in their pants. Oh, people I see. would click on that like you wouldn't believe. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's something. And you put a you put a uh, like a um, uh, you know link to the actual show mm -hmm. at the end you know at, at on on the video and huh. say you know to watch uh, more of this. That's very good. That's a that's a good idea. Um, you probably thought of it before, but you know. Yeah. At certain times when the show is really funny for like five minutes, ten minutes, you could do that, you know, and it would get people to come over. I've seen that in a lot of uh, a lot of long form shows like this type. They they do excerpts. Do you know they, what I did? What I did? I, I read about a thing in uh, I think it was in one of the Scandinavian countries uh, that they called slow TV, and they would simply have a camera on something that was changing very little as time went on, okay? So uh, one day, I saw that across the street it had just snowed and the snow had stopped and now the snow was melting and it was dripping from the buildings. So I did my slow TV, snow dripping, I named it slow TV. I got 500 people watching the goddamn thing. Now I don't know. I, right. That Maybe got pretty good. That got pretty good. good numbers. I'm wondering how paint drying will do. Yeah, try that. Maybe Phil's got a point. Change Fast the drawing. name. Lead people into it. Yeah, well, maybe I should do a, a thing. Paint drying. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I can do it from the other studio that I have here. You know, and I just stick a thing out the window, and you can, you can just see nothing happening. Absolutely. Now, how, how, how many hits do you get when you show the snow outside and stuff like that? Yeah, what about that? Uh, 300, 400 people. Oh, really? Just during yeah. hours? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the people don't watch it for a very long time, but the, I get a lot of them. You know, what do I got to do here? Let paint dry? Everybody, just don't do anything right now. This is going great on the audio version. <laughs> 32. Somebody's breathing. We, 31. We're down to 31 now. We, we, went we, up. we went up, though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tell all your friends, if you're listening, I'm going to have a naked woman on the show uh, during the next half hour. Went up to 32. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, did you, anybody watch um, 60 Minutes this weekend? Yeah. And see the thing they did on Florida? Yeah. And and the vaccinations down there and how if you got money you can get a vaccination, but if you don't, you can't. Surprise, surprise. All the rich areas. They got yeah. this very poor area uh, <laughs> that in, in which people are so poor they don't even have cars. Nope. Okay? They have to take a bus to go wherever they have to go. And they decided to allow uh, to do away with vaccination centers. And just all the publics with an X, uh, pharmacies, were going to give out the 
shots. And the closest Publix pharmacy was 40 miles away for these people. All right. They, they said that they didn't want it. They said that people didn't want it, but then all the people said, no, we want it so bad. Yeah. Yeah. There was this one really old lady in her 90s. And she was finally thrilled when she did get a shot, but she had to get on a bus, take the bus 40 miles to this Publix, you know, in order to get it. Now, here in New York, I mean, we, we go overboard to make sure that people who are disadvantaged get the shots by actually going to them. Mm-hmm. We, go to wow. their, we go to their apartments, knock on the door, you want a shot, boom, you get a shot. So, I mean, what they're doing in Florida, and then it turned out that people found that you didn't have to be a resident of Florida to get a COVID shot in Florida, and so people started taking their private jets and, and flying in and, and getting it. You know, and, and what was how people found out about this is a very rich woman was showing herself on her private jet and did this whole video about how she was going to get her shot in Florida. And people, of course, got apoplectic about that one. But they probably had more than 30 people listening. Yeah. But now it looks like the president says that uh, he, he honestly believes everybody can get a shot now, that there's enough out there uh, to take care of everybody. That, but that's, that's a long pro- line. That's providing we find out that the don't find out that the Johnson and Johnson has candy corn in it. You know, I mean, what else can go wrong with the Johnson and Johnson? We already didn't have any faith in it. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, all of a sudden, uh, it gets even worse. I think yeah. they're in better shape than AstraZeneca for PR. Oh, AstraZeneca has all kinds of problems. Oh yeah. Well, you know, there is some question as to whether we went too fast in approving these things. But, I mean, come on. You know, we had to do something. Yeah. And and you don't hear about any statistics. Do you hear any statistics about people who have had the shot, who get COVID and die? No, but I've heard the statistic that not one person has gotten the shot has even been hospitalized, much less died. Wow. From the shot or from COVID? No, from COVID. No, from the, I mean, no, nobody that has gotten the COVID vaccine has even been hospitalized for COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So and if, certainly uh, nobody's ever died. Apparently it's working. It's working. Uh, even the ones that caught COVID after the vaccine didn't get it bad enough to be hospitalized. That's nice. Right. Right. That yeah, alone think- is worth getting the shot. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of them who got sick were less than two weeks after the last shot. Right. When you yeah. don't have the full antibodies build up. Well, you, supposedly with the one shot, you do have some fairly yeah, decent do. amount of protection. Yeah, it just doesn't last as long. You need the second shot. The, yeah, the booster gives you that second uh, shot of it. Um, now, I have, you know, you all get a card, right? You all have your cards, right? How many have had them laminated? Not yet. I have mine laminated. Marjorie went out and laminated it for me. And now they're saying don't laminate them. Why? Well, because um, uh, it might smudge the writing on them, which it didn't on mine. And then it says uh, if there's a booster shot, they can't write it in. That'll give you another card. I would imagine there will be some. You know, to begin with, I have this thing on my phone, okay, which I don't have here right now. But on my phone, you know, that, uh, that uh, uh, the state issues, that they actually go into their database and find out if I've had the second shot and everything. And then I have a little uh, barcode and everything. And if I need to go somewhere, I can use that. So Why doesn't yeah. every state have that? Well, every state should have that. And I'll tell you why. Because you can forge these cards. I mean, after all, they're just sure. pre-printed cards. You get a couple of hundred of them from wherever they make them, give them to people, have them fill out phony stuff, Moderna, uh, you know, first shot, second shot, whatever. And you could duplicate the card. But if if you if you have a method where you have to actually go to the state or the city in order for it to verify that you've had the second shot, then that's certainly far more effective. And that's (laughs) what I have. And I like it. But it expires in a month. But I think at the um, end of that month, I simply go back in and I redo it, and it gives me another month. So, oh, yeah. you know, 
Yeah, most states already have a vaccine tracking system. It's they use it with uh, children. Mm -hmm. So what they did oh. is they extended it to adults. So most states have a system in place. They are using that system for adults. I wonder if they have. It. I wonder if they have it for like our just our regular flu shots. California is talking about doing it. Yeah. Well, I think that what we should do is make sure that every state does it, and yeah. that we start up a system of yeah, you can go to the movies. But you've got to have your card. You can't get into the movie if you don't have your card. Oh, you want to go to the baseball game? You can go to the baseball game, to that. but you got to have the card. <clears throat> well, if you do that, then these people who are a little reluctant right now will suddenly realize they don't want to be an outsider. They want to be an insider, and I want to be able to go to a baseball game or a movie theater, and they'll do something about it, you know? I see on the news right now that uh, the numbers are going up in Hawaii, too, and they're going to... Starting this Saturday, they're going to reimpose their 10 day, whatever you call the thing. When you get there, you got to sit there for 10 days in your hotel. Quarantine. Okay. Have a good time, uh, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice vacation. Good. Right. Give us a call from your hotel room when you get bored. Same hour. Actually. Actually, I'm just giving Brian a hard time. I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Got him excited. He's going to cross me off the Christmas well, I wanted to ruin now. his vacation. Hold on. I need to check something really quick. He's, he's, he's <laughs> one of... Did you notice that uh, the uh, boycott of baseball wasn't really working? The stadium at Ranger Stadium was packed. Oh, it was 50,000 people in, in Ranger Stadium. Of course, we'll probably have a huge COVID outbreak. After oh, that. yeah. Well, they told everybody you must wear a mask to go into Ranger Stadium, but then they had cameras in the stadium, and nobody was wearing Is that in Georgia? No, that's in no. Texas. 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 Oh, the Texas, Texas. Rangers. Oh, okay. It's over yeah. the weekend. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, your governor down there is the stupidest human being oh, yeah. on the planet. Probably Gov get reelected. Governor Gimp. Uh, yep. yeah. What, what's he in the wheelchair for? Did somebody try to break his legs or something? No, oh, he had some kind of accident, an industrial accident or something like that, mm -hmm. and uh, was was paralyzed from it. What what, what happened? Is, it is it brain did, it, did his brain fall out onto his br legs or something? That or? was worse than that. He got like twenty million dollar settlement, and then he passed a law so nobody can get more than five hundred thousand dollars now. <laughs> he got his 20 million. Uh, Son of a bitch. No yeah, shit, the most huh? you can get in a, a, an accident like that is, is, is 500,000. I, wow. lo I, lo I love your governor and your senator, Ted Cruz. Uh, yeah. Who's the other senator there? Cornyn. Is, is he just as bad? Yep. Oh, okay. Why does Texas vote for these scumbags? Because they won't let anybody vote except for the rednecks. Really? Yeah. Well, we had like 30% voter turnout. Because hmm. you got to go wait in line eight hours if you live in, in an. You know, you know what area. you need is what they've got in Georgia, which is that woman. What's his name? Uh, uh, Stacey Abrams. Stacey, yeah. Stacey Abrams. Who, because she did a great job of getting the black vote out. Absolutely. You know, she did away with that reluctance that the black community had or their belief that they could change things, you know, and she was very good at that. Uh, you need somebody like that in Texas, because so if you got if you got the black vote out in Texas, you could elect anybody you wanted to. You know, and so I Tyson's Acosta on the in chat, live chat, mm -hmm. says that he was out jogging in the streets of Austin in 1984 and was struck by a piece of wood from a tree. Yeah. He got hit by lightning. Hmm. Yeah. Well, he got I, don't, some I don't know if that's true. For that. huh? I don't know if it's Oh, how did he get? How did he get twenty million? The lightning paid for it. What? No, oh, no, no. I, I, oh, I don't the, remember it being lightning, but he somebody was held liable for that in court. He got millions of dollars. So that's what the happened. City, was, they should have not had the tree there, or something like that. Yeah, Who knows? or they yeah. shouldn't have let people jog or whatever. Wow. Yeah, really. <laughs> wow, that's one. It. One more reason to tell you that physical fitness is not good for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Now, how's everything out in Long Island? Is everybody... Uh, See, I don't know what the various statistics are now for the various areas because since our governor has been caught with his pants down, so to speak, he doesn't do these press conferences anymore where he shows all the results of, you know, what area has a high in a level of, uh, of infection. But Long Island was not doing well. Long Island was kind of in a hurtful place. Way out east, there's a lot of... Uh I would call them redneck, redneck Long Islanders who really didn't want to wear masks. And, and uh, so there was sort of a surge, but I haven't been watching it closely, to be honest. Yeah. But, you know, any anytime anybody goes into a store or anything, everybody's wearing a mask, so that's not a problem. Um, you know, it, it, things like beaches and parks and stuff, uh, people don't necessarily wear a mask, but they're farther than 10 feet apart. Yeah. Did you, did you, you've gotten your shots, right? No, no, I'm the one who was waiting till May. Why? Why are you waiting till May? What? What happens in May? The only time I can get a, a, a uh, an appointment. What? That's what I've been. I've been trying and trying. I, I've had so much bad luck. You know what I would suggest? Call a Walgreens. I've heard of people just literally signing up for a Walgreens and walking or in the next day. CVS? Do you have or CVS? You got it. Yeah. yeah. I got to hang out there or something. And no, say, no, well, just, just go online. Go online and look up uh, CBS and see if there, or Walgreens and see if there's one near you that's giving out shots and see what the weight is. It may be yeah. a lot shorter than May. Yeah. You yeah. know? The, um, the appointment is for one of the mass vaccination sites in, uh, in Stony Brook. Apparently, it's not mass enough. Yeah, it's yeah. not mass enough. Yeah. And every time you go to the, to the Suffolk County website to go into it, it's mm -hmm. always no appointments, no appointments, no appointments, no appointments. Wow. That's ridiculous. Scott, have you gotten your shot? Um, yeah, I got my second one on Friday. Yeah, now you're how old? I'm 50. You're 50, but they're letting everybody get them now? Um, they're going to lower it to, I believe, 16 in another two weeks. But okay. I believe right now it's 30 on up. And then yeah. they're going to lower it again, and then it'll uh -huh. be... Everybody. That's the way it is in California. Charlie's had both of his. Yep. Uh, Al's, Alan's had both of his. Brian's had both of his. And and uh, Jeff has had both of his. And has Pam gotten both of hers now? Pam's got both. Oh, boy. All right. Hey, listen. Of, uh, you got to come into New York City, and we got to go out and have lunch. I know. And we can but hang out at our place and, and breathe in our faces. Two yeah. weeks, right? Huh? <laughs> you got to wait two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, and then you're then you're through. Yeah. No restaurant, she said. And has your I'm wife gotten it yet, yet. Uh, yet, Brian? Oh no, she's only fourteen, right? So. <laughs> no, 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 no. She got it. She got it too. She got both of them, or? Really? Yeah, because yeah, of her work too. They're they're getting the uh, children's fair to fly to Hawaii. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I, I wonder, I guess eventually your kids will be able to get it, too. I, 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 I don't know. Uh, in uh, Connecticut, I think if you're 16. The 16, but I think there, there is going to be, they're going to even lower it lower. Because I think, didn't, uh, didn't Pfizer say that they were being yeah, able Pfizer to get it? Pfizer did a test to determine if people who are two years old... Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. and they feel there's no problems with that. They're must, not doing it now. Must be a very tiny needle. Because they needle. reduce, they reduce just the uh, concentration. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm more for the teachers. You know, they're, they're supposed to go back on the 21st, so they have their their spring break when we're going to go, and then they come back on the 21st. Well, they so. should they shouldn't let any kids in school who haven't gotten their shot. Right. right. You know, and the reason, and, it's like normal, right? and, and by like the way, somebody said reason. to me, well, you know, that might cause a legal problem or something. And I said, no way. I said, kids have had to be vaccinated in order to go to school anyway. Yeah. They were yeah. in school without your measles and mumps and all that. Exactly. Yeah. So all they have to do is put it in with all of those. And, uh, you know, your kid can come to school if they're vaccinated. That's it. Yeah. Plain and simple. And get all the teachers vaccinated. Make sure they're protected. And those schools are going to be good to go. Yep, I agree. You know, and that's exactly why the states have a database system 
It's part of the vaccine for children program. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody has access to it to look up the vaccines to see if they're allowed to go to school. Now, uh, what I heard today was that the largest group who is re, is is uh, saying they're not going to get vaccinated. Republicans. Evangelicals. Yeah. Now, what does this have to do with your religion? It's, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe the Jews will find it's not kosher for some reason. But, I mean, why would a bunch of evangelicals, who, by the way, will eat anything, why, why is it, do you know, Charlie, is there a... Trust the science. Well, I mean, they, they're, they're anxious to go see God, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I do know one reason, though, that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine supposedly uses stem cells. No. And the abortion people are against it. No, I don't think it uses stem cells. I believe because the Catholic Church came out with something not to get the Johnson and jo Johnson vaccine <clears throat> because of that. I don't think so. Let me look here on, on yeah. online. Here, I don't think so it. either. No. Nah. Uh, Johnson. More Johnson and Johnson. More and Johnson for us. Vaccine. That's right. Yeah, vaccine, right. and then I go. Then I go. What do we want? Uh, stem cells. Okay, here we go. Uh, stem cells. Uh, 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 fetal stem cell lines were used to make the Johnson and Johnson. There you go. Yeah, that's the big thing with a lot of the evangelicals. Okay, so they, but they, uh, but they say they just don't want to get the shot. Period. Yeah. And, and we're not talking about Johnson and Johnson. You could say, okay, well, I don't want the yeah, Johnson and Johnson. That. I want yeah. the Astros. I want the uh, uh, the Pfizer. I want the Moderna or whatever. Yeah. But uh, huh. and uh, do they use fetal stem cells? That's the other question. Or do I they believe just... they do, because <laughs> that's what the and Catholics are. Most of the I assume they're dead babies. <laughs> you know, they're, they're from the abortions. Yeah, fetal cells that you use. Are they from the abortions, or they just wait yes. for a baby to die? I mean, you know. That's what they use them for, and so that they can actually save lives that way instead of just throwing the stem cells away Yeah. and doing nothing. Yeah. We're up to 36 on YouTube. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It says 38 here. Yeah. yeah. Oops, we'll just turn, that just turned 38 in California. Well, just back to 37. <laughs> back to 37. I still see 38. It'll change. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, I guess so, so, so it's stem cells. I didn't realize that. Well, you learn something every every minute, you know. Mm. But uh, I'm glad I got the Moderna. I'm very happy with that. I would have, Pfizer would have been fine, too. You know. Yeah. Uh, how many here had Moderna? Okay. How many here had Pfizer? No. Yeah. Uh, you, how about you, Pfizer? Um, um, our, our uh, friend uh, uh, John Redshaw. Uh, did you, oh, you haven't gotten yours yet. He hasn't got any short. short how, about you, how, how about you? How um, about uh, you, Mr. Scott K? Oh, I, I had Moderna. Yeah, Moderna. Okay. But it, you know, it, it's amazing technology. Yeah. I mean, both of those vaccines. It, it's going to change. I mean, not only is this significant that we you know got a vaccine for a pandemic. It's a significant type of vaccine that's going to just change. Well, it's the changed the whole way we look at vaccines. Yes. What this is is a vaccine that teaches your body to go in and get a certain yes. thing. Here's the information. Here's the it, it educates your uh, your body, and, and then it goes and gets those particular cells and singles yeah. them out and says, "Okay." Which is what a vaccine's supposed to do. Well, but it usually does it by giving you a little bit of the disease, and then it uh, you create antibodies. Uh, okay. Sometimes the disease is dead, like in flu shots. Well, no, but that's what but I'm that's saying. How they, that's yeah. how you get a, how you get the yeah. antibodies. They're killed viruses. That's right. That's what they're called. Uh, but they are, nevertheless, they give you a piece of the virus. This isn't a piece of the virus. Nothing right. like that, you know. No. Uh, so it's a product of modern science, which I got to, take, uh, to be able to use before I drop dead, you know. So, so uh, I'm wondering... Trucker Steve, you're all over the America driving. You can't just pull into some place and get a COVID shot? I've never thought about it, and I don't know if they would do a Canadian. How would they know? Just 
claim you're homeless. I would ask for your ID. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering, you know, I, if I were the United States, what I would do is because you guys are traveling, and if, if somebody gets COVID, they could go and spread it just by the mere fact that they're going from one place to another. I see, this is what I'm pissed off about is just in our county where I live in London, mm -hmm. I've been on the website and there's nothing mentioning truck drivers about being first liners. Yeah. Or yeah. being part of the first liners. Yeah. And we should be part of it. Yeah, well, absolutely. We're crossing the border every fucking day. Well, here in California, you you would be because you're a transportation person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they don't even have that. They don't mention transportation on on the website. I've looked through it. By the way, I have something I'm pissed off about. Oh, really, Alex? Do you have something you're pissed off? <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, really, not you. Oh. Uh, our governor last Wednesday or Thursday signed into law the legalization of marijuana. Yeah, well, but, 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 <laughs> what do you mean not that again? Well, we talked about it last week. Oh, I forgot. It's on YouTube. I forgot. I'm just. Facebook. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just mad. I don't want to have to wait. I mean, who knows if I'm going to live that long? Yeah, it's going to be two years. Before yeah, it's going to be at least two it. years. Because they're going to sit around jerking off going, well, should we make it legal? I'll or should we it. make it? I thought you we... were doing edibles. All I'm saying is, I want him to sign that, and the next day a store opens up. Okay? Yeah. You know? And and if you're going to figure out how you're going to license it, you should have figured that out already. Sure. You should have been ready. Example, right? You don't make it legal until you have all the stuff ready to go to make it legal. All right? God, you would think this guy's a Republican. You'd think he was out <laughs> looking down women's blouses. Come on, yeah, you know. that's right. Look at look at all. Maybe he needs to change parties, and he'll be protected. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know who who said it, but you know, it was one of our. It was uh, uh, what's his name, um, Meyer, the other Meyer, Dan Dan, Dan Meyer, Meyer yeah. who said that you know, one more woman complaining about uh, Cuomo, and uh, he'll give you free medical care. Yeah, you know? I mean, it seems as though every time he's, a new woman comes him? forward, oh, well, we're lowering the age for when you can get your vaccine. Oh, we're going to legalize marijuana. Don't look at the man behind the curtain, right? And yeah. hasn't been on in like two weeks. Yeah. It's what my, it's what my, uh, 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 what my friend Shecky calls uh, Cuomo's shiny penny. You know, he brings out a shiny penny whenever he wants you to forget about what's going on. But I mean, I why should I have to wait? Uh, hey, you legal? I mean, I know now I could probably smoke it while walking down the street and not get busted because it's legal. But I can't go into this store, this shiny little store, Mister Pot. You know, go into a store and and buy the stuff. Why can't Why can't you buy it? I thought making it legal was making it legal because. They don't have the the structure in place. Yeah, the infrastructure. The infrastructure, awesome. and that infrastructure is simply how are we going to tax it? Yeah. You know, how much are we going to tax it? We got to license people to sell it. Well, you should. My feeling is you you're going to legalize it, then you should have in the bill all those things ready to go. Right. Okay. Yeah. So how, the, many, how many states are legal already? That he has yeah, examples. He's already like oh. thirteen states. And yeah. don't don't you realize? Don't you realize? That if he just simply said, okay, as soon as I sign this, we have all the things in, in force mm -hmm. to be able to get this thing on uh, uh, underway, that the first shop, if he signed it on Thursday, would have opened up on Friday. Okay, California was lucky. We had medicinal marijuana for a long time. But we did. We have, too. Well, yeah. they, but yeah. So you don't have shops? No. No, you had to, I don't know. I, where were where, you? We did have it so that it was legal if you needed it for medical reasons, but you right. had to jump through hoops to get it for medical reasons. Yeah, but those, but part of this, what you're saying is there's no stores to buy it. Well, we all know that marijuana has to be regulated very heavily because it's a very dangerous drug, okay? <laughs> yeah. uh, and and uh, I don't know, I smoked it once and I, I killed my wife at the time. So, you know, it's just not... You know, but I got off on Where'd the. Where'd you get uh, it from? I'd well, like to get some. Well, of that. I got off on the excuse that I was just a little crank, <clears throat> cranky that day, and oh. you know. 
Okay. Thought Slayton, I, thought, I thought Slayton used to have a line about smoking marijuana, and then he wants to make a sandwich and take a nap or something like that. Yeah, that's it. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I don't my want... daughter goes up to college in Michigan, and Michigan just recently did recreational. Yeah, and she's she's in Ann Arbor. Oh my God, there's probably a dozen stores already. Oh, now, yeah. how, what, but, it's but amazing. How, how long did it take between the time they made it legal and the time I the want stores to take it, opened? It took about six months. Okay, well, yeah. you can you can bet it's going to take two years in New York, because yeah. because there's so much bureaucracy and everybody's got their hand out and wants some dollars put into it, you know. And I maybe I, one more, maybe you're just another woman away from going up to the court, and then <laughs> maybe it's going to be tomorrow. Why well, don't you open a shop in your downstairs in your building, Alex Bennett's Dope? Well, if 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 they, we could just find some woman who says he held me down and fucked me, which nobody's done yet, <laughs> I think we could have them open up, say Friday. Yeah, easy. Yeah, Take and, one for the team. And by the way, the first one's free. <laughs> You know, so. you know what's interesting? If you buy something in Michigan, from my experience, it's yeah. all made in Michigan. I don't know if you can ship products across state lines. No. Well, oh, if you're going to sell something, you have to have infrastructure of people actually making stuff. Yeah, yeah but I'm yeah. sure there already are. Especially the edibles. I'm sure there the already edibles are. edibles are the big thing. Well, here, across, here's the thing. across state yeah. line, I think the Man Act. Yeah, no, I want. Just I want. Kidding. Well, we'll have to ask. Uh, uh, what's his name about that? Uh, Gates. Gates. Um, I wonder how Bill Gates feels about this. It's not. It's not spelled the same way. He's probably listening to the show. I mean, this is the kind of name you'd use if you were doing a parody of Bill Gates, and then you wanted to call somebody some uh, Gates, and you'd spell it that way. But anyway, so I know I, I all I know is I'd like to make sure that maybe the pot could come from somewhere else and we could get some of that good Mendocino weed, you know. You want me to send you some? Huh? I'll send you some. Yeah, send me some. Yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, look who's there! Hi. There, uh, uh, there's, there's, Hi. there's Brian's better half, and there she goes. No. That was his daughter, Alex. That wasn't his daughter. No, that's not his daughter. That's that's uh, the uh, that's here that, she is. That's yeah. the super genetic uh, qualities of his wife. Uh huh. Yeah, it makes my yeah. kids look good. It'll make the kids look good. Well, you're a pretty good looking yeah. guy yourself too, Brian. So don't oh, uh, you, you know, uh, don't don't uh, put yourself down. You know, <laughs> but uh, but you know we, we but you know you produce some uh, a beautiful child there, the two of you. You know? Yeah. Uh, how, they how, look Korean. How, how is she? Where is <laughs> she? Uh, where is she right now? Is she uh, doing anything? Hmm? Uh, no, they're all grounded for a few days. So Why are they oh. grounded? They're watching oh. TV. Why are they grounded? Uh, challenging us, that's all. You oh. know how that goes. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. The wonderful part about being a parent. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Having to get tough. Who gets tougher, her or you? Huh? <laughs> oh, uh -huh. really? Uh, really? No, no, the In other words, out. when the kids do something... I never, I never hit the kids, I tickle them. Yeah, well, I don't believe in hitting kids, but the fa it, I, usually I would think she would be tougher. Um, oh. Let me ask Adrian, who's tougher Adrian. on you? <laughs> <laughs> Adrian, who's <laughs> mean, mommy or daddy? <laughs> Wait, what did she say? She's just mumbling. She's just mumbling. Okay. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, folks. Uh, we finished with 38 people. Gee, yeah. where were you people earlier when we had the naked women on the show? <laughs> yeah, anyway. we got women. Two women. Two women. Two <laughs> naked women on the show. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, thank you, Alan. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Brian. What's your name again? I don't remember. Tiffany. 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 I'll remember that forever now. Uh, just think of a little green box, you know, with good jewelry yeah. in it and stuff. And uh, also uh, Adrian, who is somehow, she's lurking behind. <laughs> it's like your chair has a head on it, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you. you lovely, lovely family. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you to Trucker Steve. And is your dog with you? Is your dog with you, 
trucker Steve? There he is. There, there he is. is. Hey, yeah. Rocky. Jeff, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, and, and, and of course, uh, Scott, thank you. And John Redshaw, uh, both of you, please call again. Really, love having you here. Anyway, Absolutely. thank you, everybody. Why don't you wave good night, and I'll wave goodbye as well, and we will say good night to you. Okay, there they go, folks. That's our uh, citizen panel for tonight. Uh, let me get rid of them here. Jack Bishop will be having a citizen panel next over most of the same gab net. Uh, and by the way, as long as we're at it, he uses Skype, and the name is GabNet Live. That's what you call. I'll see you again tomorrow night. There's a sports show on tomorrow night, I believe, at 8.30. And then uh, we'll be here at 10.30, Eastern Daylight Time, with uh, more of The Ramble. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please, still, wear a mask out there and be safe. Good night, everybody.